uh, stop through the night. All right, welcome back everyone. Well, the Chinese community of Houston is hosting two town hall meetings, one happening yesterday to discuss violent incidents in the Asian town community. And to discuss more about how important this is, we're honored to have State Representative Jean Wu for Texas House District 137 to talk about this and more. So thank you so much for being with us. And this, sadly, the, did you have to have these meetings in the first place, but these are important and tell us why. Well, I think the Asian community uh, in Houston and the rest of the nation has sort of felt set upon um, after years uh, during COVID of a rise in anti-Asian hate, uh, anti-Asian violence. And whether or not this was a incident that was targeted at Asian Americans, mm -hmm. that's the way the community feels. And I think it just made the community feel better to have the police chief and the executive police chief come out and talk to the community, answer some questions and just reassure the community that we're, we're going to do everything we can to make sure you're safe. Exactly. And um, there are going to be, of course, not only people there to answer questions, resources made available, but just a reminder that they are not alone. And this is not just an issue for the Asian community. This is something our entire community should be paying attention to, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And one, one of the biggest things that the police talked about is simply being aware of what's happening around you, but also taking the initiative to report things, to call it in and to tell the police either through 911 or through 311, if it's not an emergency, of things that are going on. This crime was solved because a witness there saw the car's license plate and then reported to police. Mm -hmm. And it's that kind of um, neighborly act that is going to protect the city and protect us in the future. But how do you get across to people that who are afraid to come forward? Because I know that's probably yeah. one of the biggest barriers you have. People are fearing retaliation, Absolutely. that if their names get out, that their family is going to be impacted. How do you get across that bridge in order to get people to be the neighbors that you want them to be? Well, I think the key is, again, what Chief Fenner said, is that we have to act as a community. If people are afraid, but they know that the entire community is behind them and is going to protect them, is going to look after them no matter what, I think they'll feel more reassured. And that's why people ask a lot of questions about, if I, if I call 911, will you have somebody who will talk to me in my own language that I'm more comfortable in? If, if I call the police, will you send somebody out who understands my sensitivities and understands my culture so you're not putting me into an awkward position? If I want to be anonymous, if I want to can you do those things? And the police is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So you said there's going to be a second meeting that's taking place. So can you give us the location and the time and where people can go so to take part? This is um, the Chinese Civic Center, uh, which is on uh, Town Park Drive. Don't ask me the exact. <laughs> it's okay. Place. We'll have it on It's going to be... Uh, 10 o'clock, uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday. Okay. All right. And people, and any, everyone is welcome to attend, correct? Yes, absolutely. This is a community-wide meeting. Now, we are, uh, obviously, the, the advertising, everything has been targeted to the Chinese community, the Asian community mm -hmm. a, as a whole. Um, but everyone's, just like yesterday, everyone's welcome to come. Please, if you're from the neighborhood, from the area, you have a question for HPD, um, please come out and ask. And we, we res I think we resolved a lot of problems last time. People had individual problems. And we, we got some answers. Yeah, and that's where it starts with the community, Absolutely. just sharing the information. And, and that's it. We want our community to feel good about our interactions with the police. And one of the big things with the Asian community is just feeling comfortable with the HPD and the police that are out there who are serving them. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Representative Jean Wu. We appreciate it and what you're doing for the community. And if you want more information, we're going to have all of this as well as an extended interview on our digital platforms for everyone who follows social media at CW39.com and more in just a moment. Now let's turn it over to Kerrigan with Webb.